got it, crib, got it, job, on it, did I have a Good morning. I have a nail appointment this morning. I have surgery coming up in a few days, so I'm gonna cut my nails down. I tend to get this like stiletto shape all the time, but the only thing about it is like, when I tell you I poke holes in my leggings when I'm pulling them up, <laughs> I poke holes in my underwear when I'm pulling them up, like I swear, and it'd be like the, I mean, it's not like I'm like struggling to pull it up. It's like, I literally, they're just so sharp. Like I can literally just be putting my pants up and I'm like, did I just put a hole in this shit? So anywho, because I know, you know, I gotta be getting in and out of this Faha and you know, um, I'm getting a breast reduction. So knowing that I'm gonna have to do this sports bra, I bought quite a few that um, zip up. So I just thought like, now is the time to go ahead, cut it down because um, I know that I'm going to be, you know, going through a lot and trying to recover and I ain't got time to be trying to deal with these nails and poking myself. I'll see what she recommends. I think this, this length and I think that this shape suits my nails. I mean like my hands. So I'll see, um, how this pans out. But anyway, so, um, I have surgery coming up and I'm really looking forward to it. So if you don't know, I had VSG surgery back at the end of 2021, like November, 2021. And um, since then I've decided, you know, because I've lost quite a bit of weight, I think just over like 60 pounds or so, like 65 pounds or so, um, that now, you know, because I have like the, the loose skin, like in my um, stomach area, um, and in, and, and in my breasts, I want to go ahead and one, get a breast reduction. I've been wanting a breast reduction um, since I've had my kids. My kids are eight and nine years old and they're 14 months, well, they're 14 months apart. So they're back to back. And I had two C-sections and I nursed um, both my son and my daughter, but I nursed um, my second child, which is my daughter for 14 months. So much longer um, than what I did with my son. I think my son was relatively like five months or so. Anywho. With that being said, um, I just feel like my breasts have, um, you know, they have drooped and dropped at this point so much so that I've been wanting a reduction for quite some time. I'm still a 34 triple D even after having the surgery, but now, you know, it hangs a lot more and I'm like, I ain't with this, especially not in this Houston hot ass weather. Like, ain't no try anybody trying to be sweaty. Like, who who's doing this? Nobody's doing this. Like, this is not okay. So... I told her I wanted a breast reduction and um, I was like, look, honestly, like I'm trying to go to a B and she was like, no, ma'am. <laughs> During the consultation, she was like, yeah, that's, that's, that's not going to happen. Um, She's like, there, there's just no way, you know, we have to be careful because of um, the, I believe she said like the, the, the veins or the, you know, the blood that goes to um, the nipple, you know, they want to be very careful. And she was like, if anything, we'd be looking at something closer to a C. She was like, you know, um, that's that's going to be your best bet. But there's just no way that we could do um, a, um, a B. So that was during a consultation. But then when I went for my pre-op appointment, she was like, mm, when she measured me, or whatever and she used like this chalk to kind of like outline like everything and like where my veins were and everything and she was like yeah we're looking at closer to a d just because of you know how your breasts are she was like mm. she was like i just don't even see it being a c at this point and i'm like god damn <sighs> i'm also doing the tummy tuck she said that i need a an extended tummy tuck so i'm doing an extended tummy tuck and then um I'm doing liposuction. So she is going to do, I'm trying to remember everything. So she's going to do an extended tummy tuck. So that's going to go like beyond like where a typical like C-section um, cut would be. That's going to be close more so like hip to hip. And then um, she's going to um, do lipo in the, I think it's called like the axilla area. So like under my arm. So like to deal with like all this spillage I got going on. And then um, she's gonna do um, lipo of the upper abdomen and then um, my back area. 
um and then as well as like the mons area so like j basically like right under like where you have like your fupa like right there like the top of your vagina she's going to do that area as well i need to pick up my prescriptions um today <clears throat> I had a bunch of prescriptions that I need to take and she, um, you know, after the surgery, there's some things that I need to take prior to the surgery too. So for instance, when I went and my labs done, got my um, blood taken and everything to do my labs for the surgery or whatever, my hemoglobin was a little low. So I think that they were showing like the range you want to be in is anywhere from like 12, I think it was like 12.5 or something like that to like 15 and a half. <clears throat> and mine was 11.4 so because it was low i have to take iron so um i've been um taking the iron um and i think i have to oh i don't have it on me um but i just take it this morning i have to do 325 milligrams one 325 milligram um iron tablet three times a day so at this point i need to take that even thereafter after the surgery because you know doing a liposuction i'm going to be losing quite a bit of blood want to make sure that you know everything is okay so she recommended i think she said even 30 days after that um to continue to take the iron so and the first day i took that when i tell you that shit almost took me out of here like it was so rough i it's because on the on the bottle it says to take it on an empty stomach so that's what i did i took it um the first time i took it i took it on an empty empty stomach or whatever with water and like immediately like i'm telling you within like 30 seconds it was like it hit the pit of my stomach <clears throat> and before you knew it like i was running to the bathroom and it for at least three hours i felt drained i felt really sluggish and it was rough i was like wait a minute am i gonna be able to drive the kids to school like this is rough but <laughs> i was able to kind of eat something and make because another thing is said to take it on an empty stomach an hour before eating so i was like dang i need to wait so by the time i finally ate i started to kind of feel a little bit better and then i had called um the surgeon's office and was like look i don't know if i'm be able to do this dad going iron and she was like no 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 if it's making you feel like that don't go by what it's saying on the bottle you need to eat it with food and she was like it's best if you take it with um, orange juice because it help you help you absorb it a lot better. So since then, I haven't had any issues with the iron. So I've been taking that three times a day, like morning, mid midday, and then at night before bed. And I haven't had any issues. So otherwise, I'm just really looking forward to the surgery. I think for me, I'm most concerned about like what this recovery is going to look like. Like, you know, I'm already anticipating this amount of pain because you know it's a lot. I'm getting you know the the tummy tuck. I'm getting the breast reduction in the lip and I'm getting the lipo like I think I'm most concerned about the lipo I'm nervous about the pain so to speak like I didn't have any pain after my c-sections with the kids um I didn't have any pain outside of the gas pain that I experienced after the VSG surgery and this is a whole nother story like I know for a fact this is going to be rough so I'm kind of going into it like anticipating pain like so i think I'm, I'm most nervous about that and it's adjusting like my body like my stomach my navel like all of this is going to be adjusted hell my vagina like my boobs like everything's going to be adjusted so i think i'm most nervous about like all of that and so we'll see my sister's going to be there she'll be there to help me um throughout recovery and help me with the kids so i'm excited overall but at the same time i'm like oh child so let me go ahead and go in here to this appointment, see what they're going to do, um, and go from there. So I will talk to you all later. Good morning, everyone. It is surgery day. Um, I'm having an extended tummy tuck along with um, liposuction to the upper abdomen as well as my back area, my underarm area, the mons area, so like the top of your vagina. Um, I'm also having a breast reduction and a lift. So I did not sleep last night, y'all. I'm actually getting ready to, I just finished taking my final shower. I had to take a shower, um, last night and then I needed to, I had to take one this morning. So just finished with that. I am getting ready to, um, set up everything so that way 
my medication and everything is already out so it makes it easier for my sister to give it to me when we get home as well as like all the other supplies and everything i'm going to set it up here and it is 3 30 a.m and i had surgery this morning at 7 but i have to be there at 6 15 so yeah and then i have to take i think like 12 ounces of gatorade so i have to take that um at four so i'm getting ready to take that shortly but yeah i'm getting ready to go ahead and set up all of this stuff so i can have everything ready um so i just wanted to come on and say good morning i'm ready i'm tired <laughs> but i just figured i'd go ahead and stay up and get everything done so that way don't have to worry about everything so i went ahead and got the kids clothes together for like two weeks just in case i got all their clothes ironed and ready for the next two weeks so that way that's done and my sister doesn't have to worry about that um already got their underwear and socks and everything set out so good to go on that front and um yeah i mean that's pretty much it i'm thinking um what else got all the um all the supplies and everything that i need um and then i need to pack my bag for um to go up there i'm coming home but they told me to you know i need to bring in different bras since i'm getting a breast reduction i'm um, in a lift i need to bring in different size bras for the doctor so i'm gonna bring in those bras and then i got my compression socks and i have to bring in i think it's the levinox or yeah the levinox shot that i have to have just before surgery so i'm bringing that with me and my inhaler just in case i have asthma but i haven't had any issues with asthma I don't even know several years at least since i um was pregnant with my son so um but i'm gonna bring my inhaler just in case and then um in a little bit i'm gonna put on my clothes i just got like a loose button up um pajama set from walmart um so that way it's easy i got like an extra large so something that's going to be very loose fitting um and that's pretty much it. Let me go ahead and try to show you guys what I have. I don't know. Let's see if I can set this up. <laughs> I took this out of my daughter's room. So this is this actually goes in her room. So I took this out of her room. And I am going to put the things in here to make it easier for my sister. Things that I need. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm getting ready to set this stuff up now. Uh, I'm getting ready to set this stuff up now and then um I'm sorry y'all my lips are so dry and I can't put anything on I went ahead and took um a shower and I used the um oh am I blanking on it the HIPAA cleanse but I took my final shower with that so and you can't put like any deodorant any lotion anything on. So I just feel so dry like my mouth feels so dry and I haven't had anything to eat like I'm I'm thirsty I gotta take this Gatorade um at 4 a.m it's 3 35 now so i have to take that at 4 at 4 a.m and i gotta like chug it um because i have to drink it within like five to ten minutes now i've had bsg so there's no such thing as chugging i already told her i was like i'm not gonna be able to because <laughs> they said don't sip like they said you know down it i was like that's not happening i was like can i get it down um in five minutes no but i can definitely get it down in 10 minutes and i had to take the other half um before midnight so i did do that earlier and yeah it took me 10 minutes i just just shy of 10 minutes i think like nine minutes or so for me to get it all down like those 12 ounces so i have to do another 12 ounces at four so anywho i need to go ahead and get this stuff situated so let me go ahead and do that so here are the bras that i got these are the bras that I got from Amazon and I got ones that zip up and there's no, no seams or anything. I just got two of them. I got a, oh, I'm looking at the wrong side of the camera. All right, so here are the bras that I got from Amazon. Um, it's no seams and then it zips in the front. I got two of these. Um, well, it comes two in a pack. I got a... Uh, what did I get? I got an extra large, a large, and a medium because she said to bring different sizes since I'm getting a breast reduction. So I 
got this long reach extender um so it helps like you need to wipe yourself so i got one of these from amazon i'll link everything below because i don't remember how much everything costs i got tons of stuff um so yeah i got that and this is just another set of the balls this is a large like i said i got three packs of those and i don't need this right now but i got um some foam boards and I got one for the front and the back so I just went ahead and got it got it and got it out the way and I'm gonna show you guys um so my bed I'm gonna show you guys how I set it up but my bed um basically allows me so I can lift the um the headrest and the footrest on my bed to pretty much any angle um, that I need it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up before I leave. So I'll show that to you. And then I have the little remote. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have the little remote that goes to it. I just have that there on the side. Um, so that way it's easy for me to access it. I have that here. And then I just got my everything that my doctors gave me so I could kind of be prepared for that. So I got that over there. But yeah, let me go ahead and finish getting ready because I need to hurry up and take this Gatorade um, and then I got these pads um, these under pads for the bed is four in a pack I put it I'm gonna put it on the bed before I leave you know just because I know that I'm having the light bulb and you tend to leak and, and all of that especially as I'm gonna have the drain so I went ahead and got these are you know reusable washable but instead of getting like the puppy pads <laughs> I was like I'm gonna just go ahead and get these so I got a four pack of these um, now I already have these compression socks, but I went ahead and got some more just in case. So, got these. I like these because these have the puzzle pieces, and my youngest one has autism. I know people, some people are not fond of the puzzle piece, but anywho, I happen to like that. Um, and I got these. So, there's like different designs. It's a pack. I don't know how many comes in here. Remember, but it's like a pack of um a pack of compression socks. I gave one to my sister, so one, two, one, two. It's, I'm making a lot of noise, y'all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it must have been an eight pack. So it just comes with like different designs. Leave it right here. Another thing I got is this um, for you to wear. This one you wear around your hold on. this one you wear around your waist to hold your drains, and then this one you could wear like around your neck, and this is one you could wear um, like in the shower or what have you. So I got like a two pack of those for the drains, and then um, I got some seamless underwear and i don't remember how many came in the pack but it's a lot of them in here quite a few in here i'm trying to rush y'all because i need to get ready it's 3 43 um another thing that i got was um i forgot what it's called but basically i'll be using this <laughs> when i go to the restroom because i know that i'm going to have on um the garment that the doctor is going to give to me and i know that it has a an opening for you to be able to use the restroom so i'm going to use this it's basically like a urinal and it will allow me to use the restroom so it's like this and this is i believe this is the wait a minute i think i believe this is the front and this is the back i think it said it but i can't remember where i saw it on here but anyways and then you can just use this to help you aim or whatever so yeah i believe this is the front but yeah so i got this um what else did i get oh and this is just the other, this is the other um bra set 
Um, I already had this. I got this from uh, Five Below, but a, a long time ago. But um, I cleaned it off, and then um, I'll write on this. That way, kind of help my sister and kind of lay out how things should go or what have you. Um, and then what else do I have? And then, um, oh child, I got some. Let's see. I got the Arnica, and this one is the 30C. Um, I think my doctor's office had the 30Z. This one is this one is less diluted. So anyways um i got this one from amazon and i've started taking this already she told me to take this like three days prior to surgery so i've already started taking this and, and then you continue to take it thereafter and then um i've got the uh bromelain it's a bromelain uh um i got this uh, as well and this helps with oh well, arnica helps with like bruising and swelling and such and then um bromelain does the same thing so this one she told me to wait to take until app take this after surgery so i got this so i will start taking that um after surgery and then of course i got plenty of lysol around here y'all and then my hand sanitizer oh i hit the camera sorry <laughs> my hand sanitizer um I got all this stuff behind the camera. Lord have mercy. Sorry, y'all. Um, and just like wipes. Oh, another thing that I got. Um, I'm on the floor, y'all. I got all this stuff. I got a, tr a bed tray from... Um, I got this bed tray from Walmart. It looks like this. It's like the tin material. And then this comes out. Let me back up so you guys can see it. And then this comes out, so I'll be using that in the bed. Um, what else? I had a bunch of other stuff in this thing too. Let's see. Okay. I went ahead and got the scar sheets. I'm not using this anytime soon, but I went ahead and got that. And then I got a three pack of this. I use this moisturizing cleanser. Um, it's like a skin cleanser and it helps like gently remove urine, feces and other bodily fluids or what have you. So I tend to use this anyways. Um, when I use the restroom, I like to use this. So I just went ahead and bought a three pack. Um, I don't just use tissue. I typically like to use this or use wipes. So, and I, and also with my, um, my daughter, um, she has autism, so it was she's potty trained now, but it was very hard to potty train her for quite some time. So I would always use this this um, cleanser on her as well. And she was in pull ups for a while, so I was using this. So I keep an extra pack of that. And then the doctor said that I could use Tylenol, so um, I got which one is this? This is the Tylenol rapid release, and then I got the PM. Um, and then I just got silicone foam dressing. Um, I got gloves. I got some dowel soap. Sorry, this is what I used tonight when I <laughs> took a shower. And then I followed up with that with the Hibber Cleanse. Um, so that's what I had. And then this is just a medication office office i got some hauls because i know my throat may likely be sore afterwards um yeah the rest of this stuff is pretty much like stuff that i bought ahead of time that i'll be using after um sometime after surgery once my doctor approves me to use it so i don't want to i'll show that to you guys later i don't want to jump the gun and start showing you guys that stuff i'll show it to you guys after um, like during my recovery period and then these medications I need to put away. So let me go ahead and get this stuff ready because it is 349 and I need to go chug this stuff down shortly and then um, start getting myself ready to go. Alexa, stop.
keep trying to remind me about this Gatorade, y'all. All right, it's 4 a.m., so I'm getting ready to go ahead and drink this Gatorade. Look how much I got left. Jesus, be with me. All right, so Alexa, set the timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. All right, I'm gonna try to chug this, y'all. <laughs> yeah, right. I felt so woozy earlier after trying to chug it too. Like, there's no way after having BSG, I can't chug anything. I should I should be chugging this because I'm so thirsty. Like I haven't been able to eat or drink anything outside this Gatorade. So quite frankly, <laughs> mm. I should be able to do it, but it's not easy. <clears throat> also, I don't drink Gatorade, so. It's not given at all. It's disgusting, honestly. Alexa, how much time is left on the timer? You have one minute and 50 seconds left on your 10 minute time. Basically two minutes. All right. All right, one more gulp. Jesus. All right, y'all, so. Just wanted to show you this real quick. So this is the corner with all my stuff in it. So I have my, oh, can you see it? Hold on, let me adjust. Ugh. Okay, so here's the corner with all my stuff in it. So this is all the medication and like gas X and colates and stuff like that, like stool softener. This is like bandages and dogs are barking and all that good stuff and these are my extra compression socks and underwear and such and then i've just got clorox wipes and sanitizer and um gloves here and lysol and then in my bathroom goodness gracious and then um and i'm using my phone because my camera broke so i gotta get another camera anyways um, so yeah, in my bathroom, I have the stuff that I'm going to be using for the bathroom. So that's already set up. So I just wanted to show you guys how I'm going to set up this bed real quick. Oh, and I have a stool next to my bed because my bed is kind of high. So, and then, um, so that way I can step up on this and then allow myself to get in the bed. So, and this is the extra large outfit that I got from... Um, Walmart so I just got something really big and loose and it buttons up and then there's pants with like pockets but all right let me go ahead and go because it's 454 and I need to leave shortly so this is the thing for my bed so this will lift the bed up so I can lift it up as far as I need to so I'm gonna readjust move these pillows You see it? I think that's good. And then the feet. Bring up a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna make the bit hella high. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to imagine like how slow I'd be moving and like in pain. I think this is good and the feet are elevated. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, and then my doctor got me the circulate. So I'll be 
having my um have like in the compressions on my legs so and then i have an extra blanket here and then i have my weighted blanket i love this weighted blanket i'll tell you i use this to go to bed every night so it's like hella faded because i use it all the time and i wash it all the time but um i'm gonna set this up too and this is a hold on you see this is a hold on Let's see if you can see this is a dual um a dual bed so like that side can lay flat while this side is up so that's basically that um yeah so anyway let me go ahead and get this up ready so i'm gonna pull this back actually and um put that pad down And these are the pads that I got to lay on the bed. do another one just in case let me bring it down because there's four in a pack there's four in here so i probably don't even need to double up because it's pretty thick you can tell but it's pretty thick I'm just being extra cautious so mattress pad on my bed anyways um and then I have my sheets over top of it so it's not gonna mess my mattress up but I just wanted to just double proof it so this is that the bed is already elevated the feet are elevated and I got the blankets pulled back I move all these damn pillows to the side and this is like the thickest pillow that I have so this is the one I plan on I really don't know if I even need to because I already have my feet my feet elevated but if I needed to I'll have my feet up on this one because it'll keep it make it even higher so um and I was going to set this out but let me just fold it up I'm gonna fold up my weighted blanket and then I um, can just unfold it when we need it well yeah 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 because this thing too heavy I need to get in the bed I need to make sure I get in the bed first and then put it on Also got this too so that way I can sit up on this if need be speaking of which I probably should put like a sheet over that or let's see that ain't gonna work okay so hold on hold on hold on I ain't trying to mess this up okay I need to get a sheet to put over this but um I may not need it but if I did, I want to have it covered and protected. So I ain't trying to mess it up. So, all right, y'all, let me get ready to. Hey, no, I need to get everybody up so we can go. And I need to put my hair back. So it's out the way. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Another thing I forgot to mention earlier is that I got a um, 
a walker. I found this at Goodwill. I may not need it, but I figured I'd rather have it and not need it than not have it and then actually would have preferred to use this walker. So um, it opens up. I just went ahead and closed it and sat it over there in the corner. So I'll have that on the opposite side of the room if I do need it. And then my sister can just bring it over or what have you. So for now, I'll just keep it over on this side of the room. All right, so we are pulling up to the surgery center. You pull right here? Are you parking? Okay. All right, y'all, we are pulling up to the surgery center. Getting ready to park and pray and go in, so. <clears throat> Alexa, set an alarm for every six hours. Six hours, starting now. Alexa, cancel six hour alarm. Six hour timer canceled. Alexa, set an alarm for every six hours for hydrocodone. Hydrocodone timer, six hours, starting now. Oh, that's 
Alexa, set an alarm for 10 minutes. Second timer, 10 minutes, starting now. Huh? And it's my baby. Who's I'm gonna call Makai. <clears throat> Makai! Bring me a towel! Hurry! Yes! <laughs> you, you could like so so cold. You close your eyes every second. Tired, I didn't let bed last night. Because we stayed up all night. Yes, too. Y'all was in here knocked out. That one's super full. Yeah. That's the blood. Mm -hmm. Okay, disconnect it. Can I put some gloves on? Just disconnect it from the thing. Okay, I'll put some gloves on. The gloves are right there. Oh, Alexa, oh, stop. To take the other stuff. Take your other stuff first. Yeah, yeah I get something else. You should take this first. Girl, if you don't give me this damn drains, I can change it and come up. You want to watch her change it, Makai? I'm cold. You want to watch her change it? Yeah. Put my phone. Hang it up. Oh. Why is it like eight days of all of a sudden? That's why you take all these drugs. You got to take them multiple times a day. You playing. It says start after surgery. Yeah, I just didn't want to take it at the same time. I don't know, but you don't have to hurry up. Just unhook it. What is it hooked on to? I can't see. Blood? What is it connected to? Is it connected to? Don't take that off. I just is it connected to something on me. Mm -hmm. That's in your body, obviously. Blood. Let me take that. Mm -hmm. Let me do it. That's what I'm talking about. Take that off. Take what? The clip thing? Mm -hmm. That's what I was doing. You said don't take it off. I need something to write on. What do you think about it? How much is this? This shit. Oh. 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 Fifteen seventy. Fifteen seventy. Like sixty. Like sixty. Really like fifty five. Fifty five? How many things 
Alexa, what time is it? The time is 4.46 p.m. Sorry, I can't look at that. It's still making me nauseous. Okay, come back. Oh my god, Eight gigs suddenly, I was fine, and now the pain is like dry down. Okay, come back. Oh my. I'm too dizzy. I'm sorry. I'm
this again. You got it all? Yes, girl. I just need to clean it for the day. I'm getting like dizzy. <laughs> you can also just leave it alone if you're gonna be all stressed. <laughs> it's okay. Can't. Okay. 
again. Oh, just come over my head. Just come over me. It's cold. Take like more pills after you eat. I kind of want to fix it. Get the fuck <laughs> on. You look green. Put the top on. Did you record it? The time that we did it? Mm -hmm. And how much? Let me put the top on. Let me just pin it. No, we already pinned it. So you're wasting it? Yes. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Girl. Let's put it in for 20 because I could just freshly squeeze and get the blood pressure. He's in the refrigerator all the time. Hello. Help, help her get up. Can you get my foot down? Put her foot down. Go slowly. Put it after that. Okay. 
everything. Now how broke it up? Okay, I can't put my weight on here, baby. No, I can't put my weight on here. See what the hell? Get the get the walker then. Do you feel lighter at all? Like, do you feel like you don't have a stomach? Whatever it's going. Girl, your boobs look small. Can they look how small your boobs look? What am I trying to say? This tape or something is like poking. Can your boobs look so small? Praise the Lord, I hope it'll be. See, I don't know how you're doing that, girl. I would want to see my body right Can away. Can you turn the lights on? I mean, am I supposed to be out here like this? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to see my body right away. See, I'm going to do that blow machine, too. Cause... Let's go for that. Thing on. Okay, just stand right there. Love the paint. Sit back up so it's too low. We try to get into it. It's hurting. Put her legs in the back. That's weird. You have my legs sit back for a little bit. Okay, let me clean on you. Cock it to the legs. Move, Lilo. Lilo! What did I told you? All right, come on, come on. Get, get, get away. Right, sit. Put, put your legs up. Okay, go slow, Kai. Push it back a little bit more. Oh. Yes. I need to do it. Okay, that's fine. Just do it. I can't. Yeah. All right, so yeah, we we'll keep it up when I'm in it, and then take it down when I get out. Cause so it's comfortable like that. I'm trying to make sure it's comfortable. Yeah, it's comfortable. Just keeps my legs out of it. Mm-hmm. 